LA 5 News, LA's very own. Today, I get to pick for Pedro since he is not here. An unlikely intruder wanders across a Cleveland crime scene. Take a look. This curious deer walks right into a murder scene. Police tried to tape the area off, but the deer didn't seem to care. After a moment, he quietly leaves, probably to let the detectives do their work, right? This footage was shot last weekend in Cleveland's inner city. The Ohio Department of Natural Resources says it is normal to see deer wandering. For KTLA 5 News at 5 o'clock, have a great weekend, everyone. The News at 6 with Cher and Rick starts right now. Now at 6, protests erupt outside Dodger Stadium as the team hosts its annual Pride Night. We are live from the air and on the ground. Also, we're learning more about the moments leading up to a violent hit and run in South L.A. that left a teen bound to a wheelchair in the hunt for multiple suspects. And targeting an escalating crime operation. We are live in Orange County as House Speaker Kevin McCarthy pays a visit to Santa Ana. Good evening. I'm Cher Calvin. And I'm Rick Chambers in tonight for Micah. We want to begin with breaking news over there at Dodger Stadium where protesters are gathering right now as that team is holding its pride night. That's right. Gil Levis is overhead and overhead the crowd in Sky 5. Gil. That's right, Courtney and Rick, you're looking at the uh, demonstration here at Dodger Stadium. We're looking at the intersection of Stadium Way and Vin Scully Avenue now. It was around 5 o'clock when the group moved from the uh, gate 13, which is at the top of your screen there in that lot there as I'm zooming in. They moved down Stadium Way westbound here to Vin Scully Avenue, and they took over the intersection. That shut down gate A here on the left-hand side of your screen for about 40 minutes. They took over that intersection, and then the group, another faction of the group moved down uh, Vin Scully Way all the way to Sunset. I'll show you that here in a second here. And they started, the LAPD had to shut down that intersection here as well for about 40 minutes or so. They just reopened it. They got, they talked, LAPD talked to the group. They asked them to return to gate 13, which the, for the mo most part they did. And now they've been able to open up gate A. That's good news for people traveling to the uh, stadium, but I can tell you that Stadium Way westbound from the 110 freeway is shut down. You should not take that way right now. You should try to find another gate to go in if you're heading to the stadium. That's the latest overhead up in Sky 5. I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, Gil, we'll take it. The protest is in response to one of tonight's honorees, and we're talking about the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. They will be receiving a Community Hero Award before the game. KTLA's Rachel Menatop is live outside the stadium with more. Rachel. Sharon Rick, good evening to you both. Yes, this group is protesting the inclusion of the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence during Pride Night. The Sisters are going to be honored on the field a little bit later on. And this has created a lot of pushback and upset within the Catholic Church and the Catholic community who say the Sisters are mocking their faith and its leadership. If you take a look here behind us, there are close to a thousand people out here from a number of different Catholic organizations. Former LA County Sheriff Alex Villanueva just finished speaking up a cup, just finished speaking a few minutes ago, and we've been talking to a lot of people in attendance. Take a listen to what they're sharing with us. Schools have crossed the line.